Do you remember the exploration gachas and different type of tokens we can find around the map? If you play for months then you should know it has been dead for a long time, but now it's finally getting some attentions. Hey everyone, so you play here. Today we'll be checking an upcoming creature that we'll be releasing tomorrow and upcoming features. So first thing first, the creature that is coming tomorrow is galaxy themed, named the Castleist. As I said, it is galaxy themed, so it will be put in Galaxy Explorer Gacha. In case you forgot how to find tokens or how it looks, first, this is how the token looks like. To find it, you just have to travel around the map and search for it. However, it only spawns at night with a low chance. It also despawns after a while, so you just have to keep looking. But the good news is that the third Explorer Gacha mutation is removed, so the chances for both Galaxy and Photo 4 tokens spawning is higher than before. Besides token, you also need 500 streams for each spin. If you have any questions regarding the token, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer all. Moving on to the next topic, upcoming features. Currently developers are working on field rework, they acknowledge that being a carnivore is easy and being a herbivore is difficult, therefore here's the general rundown. New meat spawners and carnivore food types, it says no more mystery meat or meat from the heavens. Permanent food sources for carnivores and herbivores that spawn in specific locations so you can't camp around them. Lastly, new aquatic hub force food, which is nice, cause I'm done with eating seaweeds. About when this feature will be releasing, as what developers said, it is a big feature. And they hope it to come out by the end of this month. But I'll say not to be too excited, you don't want to be disappointed, cause no guarantee release date. Now the upcoming feature is Dance. It will be social hub places and a feature for packs to utilize, and they will be customizable to a degree as developers said. General rundown of this feature includes new nest meshes for food types, permanent stand spot to use as a nest, food storage, and for role playing. To make it fair, when you exit the den, you can't get harmed, and there will be no water sources or food sources inside the den, so you can't stay inside forever. That's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.